Our future is trending toward autonomy and the transition has begun. This really is not a matter of if, but rather a matter of when. Roads have been pretty much the same for the past 200 or so years here in America. This is all about to change. While there will always be opponents and detractors of change, it's really not hard to argue why an autonomous future would be an incredible revolution for the world as we know it. The roads will be safer. Computers are better and faster than humans at processing data and their competitive edge will increase with each passing year. If you had to solve a sequence of challenging math problems, would you trust a calculator or your brain? Humanity will have access to more freedom. You can argue this as a positive or a negative, but if you add up all of the time you spend driving in a year and you imagine all of that time now being time you can use to work, relax, or play games while you ride to your destination, you can begin to understand the benefits of autonomy. It's true what they say, the one thing we can't get more of is time. However, an autonomous future would actually in a sense give us more time. Anyone that follows full self-driving knows that Tesla will be the first to solve true full self-driving that is applicable anywhere at any time, but there are other developments brewing that will drastically alter our autonomous future. Enter Cavnu the public-private collaboration project that is taking a drastically different approach. Who is driving this approach? Alphabet, Google's parent company and world leader in technology. Welcome to the connected and automated vehicle corridor concept. Cavnu is a company founded by Sidewalk Infrastructure Partners, or SIP, which was formed by Alphabet to build the future of roads. The interstate highway system defined mobility in the second half of the 20th century. Now, transportation in America and around the world is changing again. Mobility in the 21st century will be defined by intelligent, connected, and autonomous vehicles. Cavnu is designing the physical, digital, coordination, and operational infrastructure to accelerate and realize the full potential of connected and autonomous vehicles. The goal? To make roads safer, shared, less congested, and sustainable. Cavnu will draw on an advisory committee of automotive and autonomous mobility companies, including Ford, GM, Argo AI, Arrival, BMW, Honda, Toyota, Too Simple, and Waymo to develop OEM neutral standards. Who is missing from this list? The current world leader in autonomous technology. Cavnu's approach is centered around creating a digital model of a roadway that analyzes and optimizes road conditions in real time, shares information, and provides proactive guidance to vehicles and drivers. There are four key use cases. 1. The future of public transit. In dedicated CAV or connected autonomous vehicle lanes, they aim to offer transit solutions that are smarter, safer, and more efficient. They look to provide access to critical areas in communities with long-standing transportation and transit gaps. 2. The future of freight. Autonomous trucks can benefit from more constrained environments to achieve greater speeds, more safety, and to operate in less congested areas. This addresses challenges at key choke points such as ports, congested highways, tunnels, bridges, all of which will optimize the movement of freight an increasingly crucial part of our economy. 3. The future of personal transportation. Autonomous vehicles operating in these lanes can use the information from their surroundings to communicate with each other to move faster, safer, and at closer distances, allowing more capacity in the same space. And 4. Supporting conventional vehicles. In addition to dedicated lanes, Cavnu will equip roads that can accommodate mixed traffic with technology and infrastructure that improves road safety and congestion. This includes improved traffic management, predictive maintenance, safety alerts, and advanced tolling solutions. Cavnu is developing a first-of-its-kind connected corridor in Michigan, the birthplace of the automobile, and the home of 75% of U.S. automotive R&D investment. Over the next two years, it will explore the viability of a 40-mile connected corridor. 
In the first phase of the project, CAVNU is undertaking a feasibility analysis to inform the development of a first-of-its-kind connected corridor in southeast Michigan, connecting downtown Detroit and Ann Arbor. CAVNU was selected by the state to serve as master developer for phase one of the corridor project in a co-creation process with the Michigan Department of Transportation and other stakeholders. Despite $80 billion invested in AV or Autonomous Vehicle Solutions, full autonomy is most likely still years away given that the final hurdle will be government regulation. However, this investment dwarfs the amount spent on supportive infrastructure that could accelerate the adoption of CAVs and allow them to operate even better than uncoordinated AVs. CAVNU was founded to close this gap by developing and implementing the infrastructure for CAVs. So what exactly will this look like on the highway? First, we have a physical infrastructure consisting of well-maintained roadways and separation barriers to ensure safety and efficiency. There will be enhanced and machine-readable markings along with digital signage and signaling paired with enhanced maintenance to maximize pavement life including levels of prediction and automation. Next, we have digital infrastructure, including things like high-definition maps and ground-based GPS, along with road sensors for traffic, weather, and road conditions. Third, we have the system to manage this vehicle coordination and the ability for transportation authorities to set policy goals. The corridor becomes even more interesting when we take a look at the application for a city setting. It starts once again with the physical infrastructure including adaptive traffic signals, high-speed EV chargers, and wireless data downloads. There are smart curbs and stops to identify time and space reservations along with consoles at smart curb locations for mobility functions along with the digital signage. These CAV lanes will be for vehicles with certified AV or advanced driver assistance systems and the ability to share information with other vehicles. There will be ride sharing and app integrations for seamless booking and boarding experiences, which will be used by buses operating autonomously on loops. So what does this process timeline look like? The first year will consist of testing in piecemeal fashion in lab settings to meet specifications. The following six months will be full testing in a more realistic setting, operating over the course of a few days. Next, there will be prototypes deployed under real-world conditions to ensure reliability, which should then last for a few months. Then we have pilot deployment, implementing the fully tested infrastructure stack on dedicated lanes in Michigan with limited vehicles, and then full-scale deployment is set to be about three years after the initial testing. The plan is to then scale to other geographies after successful deployment in Michigan. There has been significant investment in self-driving technology and AVs have great potential to exceed human drivers in safety, throughput, and accessibility. However, there is now consensus that achieving true autonomy, known as level 5 or complete autonomy, is more complicated than originally envisioned and seemingly out of reach for any company not named Tesla. Use of onboard sensors like cameras or even LiDAR could detect signage and traffic signals much easier by having this information digitally transmitted from the roadway infrastructure, simplifying the problem. The argument is that in a siloed future where full self-driving vehicles are mixed with regular traffic, this may create unintended consequences, including induced demand without corresponding increases in road capacity. Also, Multiple, non-unified communication standards and data management challenges may prevent things like coordinating braking or optimizing traffic intersections as well as limited priority for transit and shared mobility. Compare this with an integrated future where infrastructure supports the efficient and scaled deployment of full self-driving vehicles to solve a range of mobility challenges. Ubiquitous, standardized connectivity can combine with more computational resources to enable real-time information sharing between vehicles and the infrastructure. This would alert vehicles to nearby accidents and could give certain transportation signal priority to minimize congestion. 
There would be benefits to dedicated lanes like rights of way, reducing cut ins, and eliminating other edge cases, all supporting higher levels of coordinated driving. CAVNU would create open standards designed in an OEM neutral manner. Either upfront or over time, use of these lanes would be limited to vehicles that meet minimum open standards for connectivity and autonomy. Research has indicated that traffic throughput gains of over 200% are possible while simultaneously increasing road safety. So now, the question will become, could CAVNU adoption affect the future of Level 5 autonomy negatively? Would it force companies like Tesla and Rivian into self-driving standards that could be dictated by the Alphabet subsidiary Waymo? CAVNU has said their standards will be open and OEM neutral, meaning it would be a matter of software option installations. Even so, would Tesla install another OEM software to communicate with other vehicles? What if the government adopts this model of an autonomous future? How will Tesla's full self-driving fit in? There are also numerous questions around liability in the event of accidents. As we know, getting governments behind autonomy will prove to be yet another difficult obstacle to our autonomous future, and perhaps CAVNU will provide a means to bridge the gap. Or, would the implementation of this CAVNU infrastructure make it more difficult for Tesla to gain local regulatory approval to use their FSD software? As you can see, this is going to be a very hopeful yet controversial topic in the coming years. Either way, it's part of an incredibly exciting future that we will have the privilege of watching unfold over the next decade. Thank you for watching.